On the 7th of February, the Cabinet approved the introduction of legislation to establish supervised injection facilities for drug users. The plan is for facilities to be staffed by medical professionals trained to deal with overdoses and to be a place where users can access sterile needles and spaces to inject themselves with drugs they have brought with them. The legislation was suggested by the Anna Leffy Group who mentioned it in their annual report in 2012 and it was taken on board to be put on the government agenda for this year. Minister of State for Communities and National Drug Strategy, Catherine Byrne, spoke about why this would be a positive move and she responded to criticisms by groups such as the Temple Bar Company and the Restaurants Association about the possibility of the city centre becoming a magnet for drug users. Uh, one of the reasons was, I suppose, as in other countries now, there's over 90 of them around the world, to facilitate people who unfortunately are chronic users and people with homeless and mental health and other issues to be able to facilitate them to inject in a safe environment particularly within a health service where there would be doctors and nurses and that able to assist if they got into difficulty. And it has been proven, I suppose, in other countries that people haven't died in these places. There's nobody, there's never been a death recorded in any of them across the world. And so I suppose that's why it's called supervised safe injection facility because it is supervised. It's a safe and clean environment. I think I, I can understand the concerns around the businesses in town, in the capital city, but unfortunately it's already there. The people are already there injecting. The only thing is they're injecting openly and they're leaving all the disregard to needles, which can be a health hazard. Theirs is a pilot scheme. It'll be only one for now, and how well it goes, we'll see then about the rest of the country, but there's businesses calling for it in Cork and other places as well. The legislation is expected to be introduced in the Dáil in the coming weeks, with the first centre due to be opened in Dublin city centre in the autumn. Iron McElroy, DCU TV News.